Guys, I wanted to know what the top five NAN nodes were that have been used in the last six months, and here they are. The first one is the HTTP request node. Obviously, because it connects any web service, it's critical to the majority of flows. It's rare you'll see a flow not use a HTTP request node, at least in my case. So it's, it's obvious that it was gonna be number one. Number two, the set node. The way that it allows you to modify data, set individual principles through the workflow, changing the value of fields, etc., is critical. Again, common sense is number two. The third on the list is the if node. So the if node obviously directs the individual flow based off of variables that you set. And that was interesting to me that it was so high. I understand it, I use it a lot, but it gives me a, 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 a funny feeling that I'm surprised that it, was, that, it, that it was number three on the list. Number four is a webhook. That makes complete sense. That's what I expected to be higher up the list, probably in second position. A webhook obviously allows you to be able to uh, start a workflow in real time, use and integrate with multiple different tools. The fact that webhook on, webhooks are on this list is not surprising to me. And on number five, this is the GOAT node. The code node inside of NAN is why NAN is so powerful as and within itself. Execute, executing custom JavaScript for complex data transformation that you can use AI to write you the JavaScript for. Mind-blowing stuff. Those are the top five NAN nodes used in the last six months.